Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Now, if you have been following me for a long time, you would have known by now how big a fan I am of biryani. I just love making biryani for my family and I equally love sharing all those recipes with you guys. Just in case you missed my previous biryani videos, you can find the links in the description below. And now I'm going to share another wonderful biryani recipe. It's called Chetinad Mushroom Biryani. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. So let's get started and check out the recipe. For this recipe, I've taken about 400 grams of mushrooms. Make sure the mushrooms are nice and fresh. So you can cut it into half like this. The pieces will be nice and chunky or you can cut it into quarters if you like it smaller. That's up to you. The mushrooms are old or if they smell foul, do not use them. So if the color is dark gray in color, don't use them. Next, I'm going to marinate these pieces with some ingredients. Starting with 1 teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon cumin powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon pepper, 1 heaped teaspoon ginger garlic paste, 2 tablespoon whisked curd, half cup fried onions. So you can fry the onions ahead and store them in a nice airtight box and you can use them whenever you want. 1 cup mint leaves, roughly chop them and add them and 1 cup of coriander leaves. Now I'm just going to mix all these ingredients along with the mushrooms. Since the pieces are a bit chunky, this will help to mix better. So just make sure that the pieces are all coated with the spice mix. Let this sit for about 30 minutes. We're going to make the biryani in this pot. Take a nice deep pot. I'm adding about 2 tablespoons of oil. Next add 1 tablespoon of ghee. Next I'm adding all the whole spices. Cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, star anise, bay leaf and maize. Also add 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds. So once the spices release that nice aroma, next add 2 medium sized onions thinly sliced, 3 green chilies slit, saute the onions till they are nice and brown. So if you see the onions have turned to a nice brown colour, I am going to add 2 medium sized tomatoes sliced, saute the tomatoes till they become a little mushy. So the tomatoes have become a little soft now. At this point, I'm going to add the marinated mushroom. So I'm getting this very nice aroma of all that masala marinade. If you marinate the mushrooms for about 30 minutes, it will absorb all those nice flavors. It will become nice and juicy when you cook it. Cook the mushrooms for about five minutes. I've taken half cup of coconut milk to this 250ml cup and I'm going to add another half cup of water. So for one cup of long grain basmati rice, I'm taking two cups of liquid. So I've measured the basmati rice in this 250ml cup. So the ratio will be 1 is to 2. So now add the diluted coconut milk. So you can check for seasoning at this point and if you do need to add a little bit of salt, you can add it. Just adding a teaspoon of salt. Before you add the rice, check for seasoning and add the salt if needed. So once the mixture starts bubbling up, add the soaked rice. I've taken one cup of long grain basmati rice, I've washed it nice and clean and I've soaked it for about 30 minutes. So after adding the rice, just mix that gently, close the pot and cook for about 20 minutes on medium flame. After 20 minutes, turn off the stove. So you can see how beautifully this rice is cooked. Let it sit for about 5 minutes before you open the pot. Just gently mix it. Chitinad mushroom biryani is done. You can enjoy this with some nice raita by the side. It's a very simple biryani that you can make very quickly. So there you go here. This is delicious Chetinad mushroom biryani which is made in this pot and uh, the flavours are all spot on. You can enjoy this as is. I've served it with some nice onion raita and brinjal curry by the side. You can enjoy it however you like. So there you go. This is a must try mushroom biryani recipe. 
Make sure you buy the mushrooms nice and fresh and clean them properly before you use them. I'll give you a couple of links to the other recipes as well. Do check them out. Do try it, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.